Welcome everyone, this is a basic uh, tutorial for ISSL. We are going to create a, a very simple calibration cube and slice it to produce G-code that you can send to your printer. Uh, so here I just downloaded the basic package for ISSL and I unzipped it into this directory. Uh, so we're going to enter this directory, you can see a bunch of PDF files. Uh, this is the uh, most useful one, the manual for ISSL. Uh, here is how it looks. Uh, of course, we won't go through that now. You can take the time to read it at home. It contains all the information required to uh, run and model with ISSL. Um, so we're going to enter the bin directory where the uh, ISSL executable I is, and you can also see a bunch of Lua scripts uh, that you can use as uh, useful examples. Um, there is a second executable. Uh, it can be used as a fallback in case ISSL can cannot run on your computer. As you know, ISSL uh, has quite high GPU requirements. Here I'm running a GTX 480 uh, from NVIDIA, uh, but you can find on the website the list of uh, uh, graphics cards which are supported by ISSL. Okay, so let us start uh, right away. I'm just going to create a new text document and I'm going to, re to rename it demo1.lua. I just use the Lua extension so that my favorite text editor, which is Notepad++, uh, can actually understand this is Lua and will uh, do syntax highlights. Now I'm going to drag and drop the uh, Lua file onto the ISSL uh, executable and this is going to run ISSL. Uh, let me put this window uh, on the right here. Uh, and what you can see here is very important, this is the ISSL console. So in fact, uh, many times ISSL output important information here. For instance, right now, you can see that the screen background is red, which means uh, something is wrong. And ISSL is actually telling us in the console that there are no emitted primitive and the scene is empty. And of course, uh, this is uh, the case because there's nothing into this file. Let me just resize um, Notepad++ a little bit so that we can keep uh, the console below it's good uh, to have it so that we can see what's happening. Okay, so we're just going to uh, create a small box. So I'm going to write B, it's a variable equals box, 20 millimeters, it's going to be a box uh, with two centimeter uh, sides. And I'm going to emit this primitive, which will uh, put it into the scene. So emit B is going to create the primitive. I save the file and immediately ISSL is updating the display because it keeps track of the file uh, and it's looking for updates. And that's it, you have a cube. Okay, so now we're going to slice that. Uh, you can see here all the parameters of ISSL, there's nothing hidden, everything is here. I won't walk through uh, the parameters because these are you know, your typical uh, parameters, layer thickness, print speed, and so on and so forth. Uh, we're going to use a layer thickness of 0.2 millimeters, and I'm going to slice by hitting this button. You can see the slicing process is happening in the back. Um, and then there's a bunch of optional modules which are uh, being run, and that's it. You've got uh, your slice model, and if I zoom in, I'm going to minimize this, if I zoom in, you can actually see uh, the toolpath. You can see there's a skirt which is used to prime the extruder, and by hitting the plus key, you can walk through all the layers and see what happens. You can see here that you have a very nice continuous infill path which makes the printing very smooth, and you can see that there's one perimeter and one shell. And that's because that's what I uh, requested from ISSL, number of shells, one. All right, and that's it. Uh, I'm going to close ISSL using the escape key. And what you can see now is that a demo1.g code has been uh, created in the same directory as your uh, Lua script. And if I drag and drop this into my text editor, you can actually see that this is a standard G code. Uh, so you can uh, give this file to your favorite uh, host program and it's going to print it. So in my case, I'm actually using uh, Replicator G uh, because I have uh, Replicator 1 Dual from Mechabot and I'm just directly loading this G code file into uh, Replicator G using this menu here um, and uh, I can directly print. That's it. You've seen the entire process for creating uh, something with ISSL. Keep posted for more videos.